Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna be hopping in to a new dimension. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right guys, so off camera, I've been working on quite a few things. I went ahead and got a farm actually set up over here. So that's looking pretty good. Um, and then I also was working on our bees. So if we take a look here, um, I've hit a point to where I don't think I can go any further with the apiaries unless this breeding actually works. So right now I am breeding a wet queen or a wet princess with a uh, hot drone. Um, this method, I used a hot uh, queen with a wet drone. So I'm hoping that uh, this one can be changed, but I don't know. As of right now, unless this works and I get one that uh, doesn't say that it's a, it's too hot of a biome, then we can't continue with the actual with actually using apiaries. We have to go somewhere else because we can't change biomes. Um, I've even tried taking it to the other dimensions, and those other dimensions just aren't going to work. Uh, mainly because, I mean, they're the same dimension. It's just not a forest or something that these guys want. Um, but yeah, I just basically am waiting on this guy. Everything else um, is working. As you can see, I've just been kind of getting these going. Um, but yeah, this guy says it's too hot. So what we're going to have to do with that is get into the industry. And that's where we're going to start with today's episode, working towards this. Um, an industrial apiary because with it with the industrial apiary i'm actually able to take this which is feasible we just have to do one little thing here and that is make this so we can actually get some bronze gears um so we'll be making a metal press today as well but uh we're gonna need to get our bees done because to be able to progress further like this pack says underneath the magic tab we need this, the Exoria Essence. And I know we're gonna need this very soon. So it says it's very important to breed this bee. Um, and it says, I also noticed that some bees need special temperatures and humidity requirements. I should check the uh, underground dimension and check if I can breed some bees better there. Um, so that's what I was gonna try here in just a second. So let's go ahead and try this. This one actually requires cobblestone. I can't believe I just broke the cobblestone. Um, I think it requires that and it requires the dead bush, which I can't actually uh, have to make another dead bush because I just derped there. That's okay. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it and see if it works in the underground. I tried the core first, um, thinking maybe that was gonna work, but apparently it says the underground dimension might work. Um, I don't know. If not, like I said, we're going to go towards the industrial apiary and see if that doesn't work as well. Um, but let me grab a piece of cobblestone. Simple enough. And a dead bush was some bone mill. Which I don't honestly know if I have any bone mill just laying around anymore. I do. Right here. And I'm going to need a shear. There we go. There we go, there's that. And this should give us a dead bush. There we go. And let's, I mean, let's just go test this. I mean, uh, I did move my portal here and I have not tested it yet. So I'm kind of curious as to uh, if it moved my portal. Okay, it didn't move my portal, which is good. Oh man. All right, let's see if this actually works. Oh, I'm, I'm still kind of curious. Oh, it does. Okay. So it should need a cobblestone. And a dead bush. And this guy should be ready to go. Right? Look at it go. Huh. So maybe I won't have to worry about this. So... What I'm doing here is this rocky rocky guy here um, gets mixed with, where is it at? Uh, not the ash, because that'll get us further stuff. We need, not the sharp, the rune queen. That's what we're working towards. So what I did was I mixed a fairy 
with a rocky drone. Actually, I haven't done the rocky drone yet. I just mixed a fairy drone with the rocky queen. Ooh, that might affect it a little bit. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, but I am working towards it. So hopefully by the end of this episode, we should be able to get some of that essence going. All right. So now that we got our bees kind of working out while we do this, let's go ahead and get these things set up. So we need an immersive engineering redstone engineering block. We're going to need some scaffolding, a conveyor belt, and it looks like piston and heavy engineering block. Just everything to make a metal press. So yeah, this is not going to be too difficult to do. Um, so let's go ahead and first off get some scaffolding. So I went ahead and already got my steel processed. That makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to need all my iron plates. I'll need some steel. We'll need some copper today. Also, we'll need some of these redstone chips. Some redstone. And I think iron in itself. And then I also need to take uh, just a little bit of iron and have that converted down into plates. And just in case we need more. Okay. So let's start off with making some engineering blocks. So we need one redstone engineering block and we're gonna need a heavy engineering block. So we're gonna need a couple pistons. Plus we're gonna need a piston for the actual block itself. Let's go ahead and get that. Oh, we need an Electrum. One Electrum. I think that's in here somewhere. There it is. And we should be able to get this thing made, right? So this is where we needed the steel. And there's the heavy engineering blocks. Um, and then we need the scaffolding or scaffolding. Everybody says it differently, differently. So steel scaffolding. I think what I do is I say the T, I say a T in there, like scaffolding, but it's scaffolding. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a dialect of how I say it here. Um, and then we we'll also need some conveyor belts. Now the conveyor belts are kind of weird. We're gonna need a machine block. And let's take a look at the conveyor. So the immersive ones is what we need, but we have to make the magnetic craft conveyor belt first and that requires a machine block but you get 16 of them so i guess it's quite a quite a lot um and then we also need to find some rubber yeah that's right i thought i had some rubber in here and you know we're just gonna take these i've not really seen how these work well that just went straight into here i didn't want to do that keeps getting sucked into my pipe system there we go that's fine let's turn this off so yeah, how does this work? I don't actually know. To be honest. <laughs> as weird as that may sound. I really don't know how that works. Oh well. Uh, yeah, it looks like we lost one. There it is, it went in our chest. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and convert these all. I'm never going to use them like that anyways. All right, let's just convert them to normal conveyor belts. Perfect. So I think that unlocked that one. This, all we need is inserters to actually complete that. And I don't know how expensive those are. Those require motors. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. I don't want to have to make motors right now. Because I want to get this done. So we unlock a projector. And it says, I found a new way to make plates and gears, etc. Processing ingots with power. Sweet. So that's always a good thing. Um, we have a couple wooden hoppers. I'm only going to need one for now. And we're going to set up a little conveyor belt system to get these guys going. Uh, I think I need a chest as well. Two chests. Okay. So let's go ahead and build this thing. Um, normally you could use the projector and your, your uh, manual to uh, set this up, but... I'm not really going to worry about it right now. This is a simple machine for me um, to just do by memory. I, I'm pretty sure I remember how to set this thing up. So it requires two of these guys. Redstone engineering block here. Your two conveyor belts, they go in whatever direction you want them to be automated in. I think I want to set it up like this. So that way the items get pushed this way and then we'll have a return chest here. 
like that. So our items automatically get input into there. Then we need a piston. And then we need we need to take our engineer's hammer and right click it on the side. If you click it on the face, it doesn't work. Um, if you kind of can see that. If you click here, like it doesn't work. You have to make sure it's facing down. And then on top of that, a heavy engineering block. And click it right here. Or on the, on the sorry, not on that block, on the, your uh, piston. And you should be good. And there we go. It's all set up. Um, I think how I want to run this, though. Let's put a conveyor belt going here. And then we'll have a conveyor belt going here. Like this. Uh, conveyor belt here. Conveyor belt there. And then I'll just have a hopper. Going into it, maybe? Will that be a good thing? I think that's how it could work. Hopper like that. And just a chest. So we have kind of like a little uh, conveyor belt system here. And we can keep our, our presses up here. Alright, let's go ahead and give this thing some power. Um, so let's get our scaffolding up here. We'll jump. There we go. I already ran some power line in here. So that should charge up pretty fast. And look at that. That's looking mighty cool. So, uh, like I say, this does work. I mean, we could set up something else there. I'm not sure if this actually drops directly onto containers as well. But, I mean, having like a... Uh, like a little block thing here. I don't know. This doesn't matter too much. Um, I've ran huge conveyor belt systems on these things before. Um, and it works out just fine. Okay. So now that we have that done, uh, we ended up getting an engineer's blueprint right here. Pretty sure we're going to need some cutters, which that is super simple. Two sticks and a piece of iron gets us a engineer's cutter. And let's come over here to our work table. Um, and let's set this up. So I want this blueprint. This is going to give us the, this is the one we just got. And we need to take some steel. And throw in our cutters. Don't exactly know how much we actually need. One engineer's wire cutter, five, and we get a metal press mold, steel plates. Oh, we need plates. I didn't even notice that. So I'll do 20 for now, and we'll get those turned into plates. It's going to take a little bit. I thought it was, uh, I totally derped there. I didn't know it was going to be plates. Usually it's just the uh, steel itself. But I guess that makes sense. It being plates. But uh, I want to get the uh, metal mold for plates. I want to get a gear. A metal rod. And not the bullet casing. I want the, the wire one as well. So how many is that going to be? That is uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. So perfect. We're have, we're getting in just, uh, just enough. There's our 5. And that'll actually get us the metal mold. Let me go ahead and take these out. Because this will make it even faster. How about we just do it this way? Pop that on there. And get a use out of this. All right, so one, two, we already have one. So that's one. Right, five, 10, 15. And that should go up into there. Just like so. And look at that, we're getting our steel plates. Nice. So uh, that that's a whole lot faster than this way. Man, is that a lot faster. 
Because there's already five. And that'll get us this guy, which is the gear. And then we're getting our, on our other set. Actually, I need one more. There we go. Then we can do this and get a rod. Oh, it may not, it may not be working this way. It doesn't mix the metals, it looks like. Ah, that's fine. We'll use this one for later. Looks like I only need a couple more. But yeah, um, we now have our press. So that means if we wanted to make the industrial apiary, we definitely could. Um, and that might be a faster way of producing stuff. But uh, I mean, as of right now, we're, we're set pretty good. All right, let's get the wire one. Perfect. And then I can uh, pop this and throw the wire one whenever I want the wires. And I did not want that many in there. There we go. And uh, that'll get us two per. This is actually more efficient on the actual wire production um, for the copper wire. So, um, yeah, definitely pretty nice. So, man, we're going to have to definitely make a make some more chest here and get ourselves some more room. But that's pretty nice. That opened up a few things. Um, it looks like we're fixing to be moving on into ooh, automated crops, automated components. This is, I wonder... Um, it says, I wonder what I can use all that acid water for. Now I have an idea to make more circuits and I can use it as etching acid. Ooh, okay. And that's in the carpenter. Okay. Now, and that opens up this, the art of crafting. And then we also have this guy, which we need light engineering blocks, crafting... Components in the workbench will get tedious soon. I'll need to automate the process with an automated workbench. Okay. So treated with slabs, conveyor belts. Is this set? Up, is this what would be set up for the auto crafter? Is that what this is for? Oh, it's for the automated workbench. Okay. And I see that. Okay. I think I'm going to go towards this section, though. Getting a bucket of acid, making a carpenter, and getting refined circuit boards. So, all right. So, as we're working toward getting the circuit board for the carpenter, we need to make some vacuum tubes. So, I'll go ahead and grab those out. There we go. And we can look and see, with the use of the, the vacuum tubes, we can see we need two build craft, uh, the chipsets. And we need a copper plate to be able to get those. So, pretty easy here. We do have quite a bit of these resources. And, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to put them in any specific order. You can just throw them in here. And there's, look, 12. 12 circuit boards. We're good. I think that's going to be uh, good enough for a while. Um, these guys are used for not very much. Except for the sturdy casings. Um, network cables from XNet. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely it was used for this, I guess. And then acid. Okay. So we are going to need a few of them, but yeah, this is not bad. All right. Let's take a look here. So this is refined circuit board fits three silicon or fits three electron tubes. We're going to need a bucket of acid. We're going to need a carpenter. Okay. Carpenter. Let's go ahead. Bronze. We're going to need a bronze case and two pieces of glass. We already have tin glass on us. We only need two. Let's get our bronze. And if I remember correctly, it was one of these guys. Surrounded by bronze. No. Bron uh, Dawnstone plates. Okay. It's got to get fancy on us. Let's get some Dawnstone. There's a sturdy casing. Then this is the bronze. 
And there's our carpenter. Okay, let's actually dump out our water. And we're gonna get a bucket of etching fluid. Um, you can actually see this stuff all over the place. We just need to kind of travel a little bit. By the way, people were saying, I just remember this. Slime boots and slime sling. Is this a thing that we could actually have? It, it really is. So we could already have slime boots and slime slings. I think this will actually make this a lot easier. Um, because I, I do believe getting slime is pretty easy since we have cactus. Uh, super easy since we have cactus. I'm thinking about tearing this thing down. We really don't need it. We just need these pools. Right? So... We really don't need that much. I'm gonna throw the rest of that in there as well. It's 38. That should be enough. We only need that and some string. And we should have just some string laying around somewhere. If not, I'm gonna get some string. Yeah, this should definitely make travel a little bit easier in this this horrible planet. Um. So yeah, this uh, we just need some slime. Which we already have. There's a slime block. That should make a slime sling. Slime boots. Literally as simple as this. And voila. We can store rubber boots for later. But uh, yeah, that's going to help out a lot with our travel. We got to avoid lava. That's the only problem. Um, coming up to this point in the pack, but yeah, man, that's pretty good. Well, put my torch out. Okay, so slime sling it up. And there's some right over there. Is there any any closer? Oh, there's some right here. If that wasn't close enough, let's just grab that. Head on back to the base. Perfect. And uh, get our carpenter set up. Um, this shouldn't need too much. It's a pretty simple machine. I think I should be able to get power going to it right there. Let's throw some of that fluid in there. Let's put the uh, power port on the right spot. There we go. And yeah, try not to bump our head so we don't get electrocuted too much. Okay. So the carpenter's set up. That means we can now make, what is this, the refined circuit board? Refined circuit board is just iron nuggets surrounded by the board. So that's simple enough. And there we go. So that completed. And then that opens us up to new art of crafting. Okay, so this is going to be something a little bit different. This wants us to do tungsten steel, make a crafting table, make a basic crafting table. Now, I've seen this before. I've used this before. Um, we're going to need tungsten steel. Okay, each tungsten steel requires tungsten steel and steel. Okay, so tungsten steel. I'm just going to get you cooking. And we're going to get you all mixed up and put you with some normal steel. And then what's it actually require for... This luminescence, okay, redstone, gunpowder, and glowstone. Well, that's not hard at all. Do I have some flint laying around? Guess I don't. I do know where my sluice box is at, though. It's up here. What I can do is just set this up, get some, uh, get a little bit of flint. 
and uh, call it good. So I'm going to grab some flint. I'm going to wait for some of this stuff to process up and we should be back. All right, so I came to just check on my bees a bit and I did get the rune princess and a fairy drone. So if I mix these two together, there's a good chance that I can get an Exoria guy out of this. Um, so what is this saying? It's too cold, skies obstructed, and too humid. So this guy actually may need to go somewhere else. Um, so let's go ahead and take this. And we'll take them back to our, uh, our normal spot where we do these things. And maybe this one will actually work um, in our, you know, our normal world. We just have to do some more testing. That's all, all it takes. It's just to do a bit of testing and also to kind of see what flowers these things actually want. So it looks like that's fine. So this is a normal area for it to work. And it's doing its thing. Good. Good, good, good. Um, so I did gather my flint. Uh, let me go ahead and drop off some of this stuff. Some of the bee stuff. There we go. Let's take our flint. And we'll throw it inside here. Get ourselves some gunpowder. Just like that. And we already have the redstone and then the glowstone. And guys, we are getting close to something pretty cool. So we'll take this. I already have the redstone on me. I don't know how much of this we're going to need. I'm just going to get a little bit of it. 32. I think that'll be fine for right now. And I went ahead and got my tungsten steel processed with my steel. And it's slowly but surely working. Like, this has taken a, quite a while. Um, this is like the longest process, though. So if you look here at what this is used for, you can see that... Um, not this, the regular ones. It's used for making the crafting table. It's used for making this guy. So, we're gonna need one for this, which requires two. So that's two, four, six, eight. That's, uh... Two, four, six, eight. Ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. So 18 and then one extra would be 19. So I actually need one more, I think, in there to get it to, to work properly. I think 19 is the total, something like that. Um, let me get one tungsten here and one more piece of steel. And just to be on the safe side, because I think that's exactly how many we need. So throw that extra one in there, extra one in there. Perfect. So yeah, really the only thing we're waiting on is bees. So as we wait on this guy to do its thing, it looks like it, is it, it works at nighttime. Oh wow, I just noticed that. That bee requires nighttime. Um, but yeah, we're just really waiting on stuff um, for this table. We have the essence, we just need the tungsten steel. And that's good. It says... With this new circuit, I found a new way of crafting. I wonder what I could do with it. For that, I need a lot of resources, though. Uh, one is tungsten steel, a new alloy um, from, well, tungsten and steel. The other, um, some glowy essence that I can make from glowstone I farmed. So yeah, all of this is pretty awesome, and it's going to get us to this quest, which I'm kind of excited for, a whole new world. Which, yeah. It is hilarious. Um, but it is going to require this. I know what world we're going to. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, we're going to get to it hopefully by the end of this episode. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for my bees to get done and getting all that other stuff done. And we should be ready. All right, so I've been heavily farming my bees. And as you can see, the Exuria Queen is here. Um, I've only had to farm it twice. It does give you regeneration, which is kind of cool. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my Exori Essence. I am going to need this many. Um, so I had to wait until I gathered those up. Then also, if you take the Blue Stone, you can actually get Rune Stone. Uh, just like this. Um, it just converts it into Rune Stone. We're actually gonna need that as well, here in a little bit. 
Um, but this is just pre-prep stuff that I've been doing. Um, let's go ahead and get some of this crafting done. So, we're gonna need the crafting table. So let's go ahead and get this guy ready to go. So, we are going to need nine of these. And as you see, one is left over. So there's your nine. And then this gets crafted with this. A couple of those, and you can see we get nine of these basic components. Then one of these basic components gets split up with one tungsten seal in the middle and get a basic catalyst. And then the rest is pretty much history from there. We just need, um, uh, what is it? We just need... Oh, actually, I think I made one of these basic, one too many basic components. Man, I always derp and do something wrong. Let me go ahead and grab this. This shouldn't take very long. While we're getting this done, this will get, this will be processed. But yeah, I went ahead and did one too many. Let me go here. And that should get that done. We just need, uh, we actually needed, instead of making five of these, we actually needed one less. I wish there was a way to uncraft this, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's not an uncrafting table. Um, but yeah, we just have to wait for that to get done. That shouldn't take very long at all. Um, I think we have just about everything else, though. Let's go ahead and get the crafting stations made. We have one here already. Couple sticks. And we'll get one of those going. So there's two of the crafting stations. And really, let's just go ahead and get this. So there's one already done. We're just waiting on the other one. All right, so let's get the last one there. And voila, we now have the basic crafting table. And the art of crafting opens up. Okay, so here's what just opened up though. I finally found a way to teleport away from this planet. Hooray! Um, I wonder what awaits me there. I just need a gold block with uh, two portal blocks on top and bottom. So we need to make the lower portal stone and this, and this goes to the Misty Worlds dimension, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and take this. As you can see, I have the extra component. I'm sure that'll be used later on in some fashion. All right, so let's just find somewhere to place this crafting table and let's just go ahead and get this done. It does say, Restriction block must be in Dimension Exoria. So it has to be in the Exoria Dimension. Okay, that's simple enough for us to uh, sort of understand. Okay, so we have this now. Your basic crafting table. All right, so we should be able to move this. I'm gonna just throw this in some other random chest and get this going. We do need a block of diamond that was on our list. And uh, everything else, let's take a look here at our portal. We need an upper portal. So we need some dream wood. I don't know if I have any dream wood just laying around. No, I turned it all into planks. So this is not that bad anyways. Let's go ahead and turn this. We need four going on here. And that'll get turned into some dream wood over time here in just a little bit. Um, and then that's all we really need. And then we have actual, we have access to this portal. Pretty cool. I think there's a few things I need to kind of get done here. Just slowly working on getting all of my stuff processed. There's so much stuff to process. It is unreal. Um, we do have tons of diamonds and stuff like that in here. So you see we got diamonds, emeralds. We got all those good things. We just need uh, need some more time, really, to kind of uh, just process more more ash and stuff like that. Um, basically, all the ash that I've been gathering has just been coming from my build. So as I've been building, I've been just gathering the ash. Also went ahead and moved my bees over into the box, so that way, uh, so that way the uh, they should be producing more. I think it's more efficient inside that thing than inside your normal apiary but you can't breed inside of it that's the only issue 
with doing it that way. Okay, so that uh, our last bit is almost done. Guys, and we are fixing to go to another dimension. Man, I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm really like excited to get off this planet. Um, I'm glad we found a way to do that. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I didn't really show you, but I have a melon farm. I don't know if I showed you this. But now I have a melon water, or I have the melon slash pumpkin farm. And uh, axes work really well on this, by the way. But this is mostly for seeds. Um, because whenever you go to actually make seed oil, this is honestly one of the best ways, along with the industrial hemp farm, um, you get tons of seeds from your melons. Look at that. And then pumpkins, same way. Tons of seeds. And these guys are actually pretty decent seeds. Like, so this is just straight up fill up. You should have end up with tons of seed oil from this. Oh, pumpkin seeds don't actually work. Really? That's weird. Yeah, pumpkin seeds don't seem to work. Oh well, I guess we'll find a new use for that. Alright, so this is done. And we now have our dream wood. And I think that's the last bit that we need. This is it. So, lower portal. Oh, we need a spark. Um, you get sparks from just finding those uh, astral sorcery um, flares in the world. You just kill them and they drop those, so. Well, let's go ahead and get this. This is the lower end portal. And then this is the upper. So now we have the lower and upper. That completes everything here. And I guess we have to figure out our own way of building this thing. So lower, upper. I'm guessing it goes like this. Okay. Where do we want to put this? Next to this portal? Right here. Here's the lower. Here is that. And this goes on top. Oh, son of a gun. Um, how dare you? That's straight up on the mod dev. They did that on purpose. Wow, that is a really cool looking block though. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. Um, but yeah, we have a place right there. This should be pretty good. Um, man, that explosion though. What did that say? Gold rush? I think it did. So what do we do? Do we just click on this? Or do we stand in it? I uh, do. We probably stand in it. Or walk into it. Yep. We're doing the whole wait on the server. Alright guys, things are slowly loading up. Um, okay. First breath. And we are in some kind of snowy biome. Interesting. Hey, there's, there's rocks from the... I cannot pronounce that, but, um... Terra... Terraqueous, I think? The small stone? Wow, okay. So things are still sort of loading in. As you can see, it's not letting me break things that quickly. Um, I might want to set this as portal home. Let's make it bright and orange. Okay. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, this is the uh, root stuff. Look at um. They got saplings in their hands. Oh, that is some fog right there. Or should I say mist? Because we're in a misty world. That's so interesting. So apparently, if you're in the mist, you can get killed. These rocks. Okay, these are like regular stone. Can make flint and stone. Hmm. And this is like, okay, Misty World's grass. So this is just like Misty... No, no, no. 
Where did... Where did mobs start coming from? What did he drop? He drops iron? I think he dropped iron. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. That's not cute at all. Can you not? They're hard to hit. Ow. They drop redstone. Yeah, they're kind of hard to hit. That's not cool. Let's, uh, let's get, get some food. Um, but yeah, this is the Misty Worlds. Um, interesting. Like, there's an ice biome. Oh my god, they shoot the blades! I know this mod. I remember this mod. Oh, the baby sounds. That's too good. That's too cute. Oh, man. I can't handle the baby sounds. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Look at him. Look at that. That's a blade, guys. Oh, man. They're not easy to kill. Man, you can just farm these guys. They spawn so much. I don't know if those are dropping steel or they're dropping... I don't know what they're dropping. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of looking. Man, the, the, they're just all over the place. This mist. Is this the stuff that'll kill you? I don't want you messing with me. Goodness. All right, yeah, we're we're definitely going to head back. These are like two different kinds of rocks. You got rocks here. Those drop flint. Let's take a look. Do we have any quests that opened up? Tech progression. Okay, so nature's compass. Um, I'm in a new weird dimension now, and I need... Oh, what is that? Um, Orventane? This planet is very foggy all over, but has some elevated areas above the fog with some plant life. I revamp my compass to be able to locate biomes. I need saplings from those trees. Uh, we're gonna die. And that thing straight up hit me with that. Yep, we are gonna die if we don't watch yourself. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just head back. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool place. I think having some ranged weaponry will be nice. Because doing this all day is not gonna be fun. Um, I wonder. I don't want to kill you. I, I really don't. But you, yeah, you drop your sapling. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, and we should be able to, what, walk back in here? Yes. Oh, no. Um. Exoria, did you, you done derped. So hard. You put the portal way over here. Um. Yeah. I'm guessing this is the way I need to go. Okay. Slime sling. Looks like it's me and you now. Uh, yeah, we have a long ways to go. Um, for some reason my portal decided it was going to spawn there. I'm kind of curious if I'm able to break those portals. To get them to, you know, do certain things. If, I, if they'll drop the gold or whatever. I don't know. But my base should be over here. Yeah, it's right over there. Look at that. Man, right into the big base. Okay, so guys. 
this has been a pretty interesting episode. We did go to a new planet. We are going to have to figure this out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. Also, I have a Discord. If you guys want to check out the Discord, we do chat quite a lot. Links down in the description below. Also, I've been getting a lot of requests on what my PC specs are. Also, there is a link down at the bottom of the description where you can click that and it'll bring up a whole list uh, so you guys can read that if you want. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go!